This is code.org. Let's see here. Debug add points on collision. Awesome. We're getting into game making. Games often, oh, there you go. Give you points when two sprites collide, when two sprites touch. This program does that. But notice what happens to the score as the sprites continue to touch. Well, how do I move this then? If Oh, key up. Okay. Oh, look how many points we have. It's going up, 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 up. Okay. Interesting. All right. There are multiple ways to do this. Your challenge is to get only to get it so only one point is scored. There are multiple ways to do this. The easiest way is to move one or both sprites to a different location when the score e increases. Got it. Read the read and run the code to understand how it works. We just did, but choo -choo, no points. So many points. No points when not touching. Identify the line of code that increases the score. Add an additional line of code so that at least one sprite moves to a random location. So they're saying just one line we can do this and let's check it out. Okay. So identify the line of code that adds a, that increases the score. Well, increasing the score would seem like the counter pattern. So we have a variable, oh, not score, but points. We have a points variable. And we'll look at here. Remember the draw loop runs 30 times a second. And if the ghost is touching the coin, that would be true. So the is touching block returns true or false. It's a Boolean. So ghost is touching coin. All right. Well, if that is true, if the ghost is touching the coin, this is true. It drops in and runs this code, which says points is equal to what points used to be equal to plus one. If this is false, the ghost is nowhere near the coin then this is false, right? And it does not run this code in here, but it runs other stuff and keeps going. Now, if the draw loop runs 30 times a second, and this is if ghost is touching coin, well, sure, when I start touching it, I get a point, but then it's running 30 times a second, and I'm saying, is ghost touching coin? Yes. How about now? Yes, yes. It's still touching, right? So at 30 times a second, it is adding points to my score. And even if you try to be fast, you can't be, yeah. 30 times a second, I still got eight points out of that. And what they're suggesting is add a random block, a random number. Now, I think it'd be weird for the player to fly across the screen for this ghost to, but what if we make a coin chasing game? So let me head over to math and they already prepped us with a random number. All right, so in sprites then, I will go ahead and grab, you could randomize X, you could randomize Y. Hmm, thinking. Um, or we could do both. It would be more fun to do both, I think. Because otherwise, it would just go on one spot. Okay, so I'm going to put it in here. So first, I'm going to, because if I, first, I'm going to make sure to give a point to the player. And then I need to ch change the coins, not X velocity. I don't want it to start moving. I need it to instantly go to another part of the screen. The coin dot X value to what? Well, I don't want to pick the number. The fun is that it would be random, right? And remember the size of the screen, 0x, 400x. So my random numbers would be 0 to 400. Let's try it out. Boom. Now I got two points. Boom. Three, four, five. But notice it's still pretty easy, right? And I do want to point out, guys, if I have this above, this is going to be a, a problem. Oh. It's fast enough. The issue, though, with this that could make it a problem is if the coin changes to a random location before the computer adds a point, then we're no longer touching it. Oh, no, we've already dipped into that. This would work. I would do this for safety, I guess is how to word that. All right. Let's do sprite.y now because I want to move the coin up and over. So this way it would go anywhere on the screen. And we need random number. I'm going to do 0 to 400 again, so it can go anywhere on the entire screen when we hit it. Boom. Boom. Now it's more of a game. And of course, if you wanted to randomize both, you want to make both things kind of fly. I'm going to be lazy and just copy and paste it. But what you could do is have random numbers for the ghost as well. Charge. Boom. It's kind of jarring to have the ghost fly off. Ah, <laughs> cool. I'm going to leave it to the coin. I thought that was more fun, but ta-da! Onward.